What's the difference from when I got here? Um, uh, I've been running the one lately. Uh, I did it a couple times before, but um, uh, being a uh, point guard for Penny, uh, different. Uh, teaching me a lot of different things, uh, and I'm picking it up each day. Oh, uh, it was my hamstring. It's fine, though. Yeah. The, the excitement about, you know, there's so many new faces that you'll get the feel of the form for the first time, even though it's not a real game. Uh, you know, your excitement level, Jay, you said there's a lot of guys that don't know what that's like. And while it won't be a true game, how excited are you for Sunday to kind of roll out and see what Memphis Tiger basketball is all about? Oh, I played here before. I played here uh, my freshman year at uh, Houston. Right, but yeah. basically you'll be wearing the right colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, it, was, it was fun when I played uh, against them, so I know it'll be fun. Uh, Red from blue. Caleb, you said you've been running the, the one in practice. No. How does that work with Javon Quinn on these days? He's the lead guard or you the lead guard? How does, how does well, he's been out uh, dealing with some minor, but uh, during the time I've been running the one, and uh, they like me there uh, based on what I've been told. So, I mean, I don't really care what position I play, but it's fun to run uh, the one. Uh, and it's fun to play with JQ on the floor with me, too. Do you think it'll be good Sunday? Or I guess you might. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, do you think they're trying to do a, you didn't hear yourself as a shooting guard or a point guard? Uh, no, I just try to, I try not to put like a role on me. I say just play basketball. I know Penny try to do a lot of positional position. You just run the offense. Does that really have an effect when, you know, most guys can bring the ball up or whatnot if they're playing offense? How effective is that, you know, with that position? Because anybody can do whatever. How has it been in your transition here? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean that's the way the game is starting to be played like, everywhere. You know, you miss more shots than you make every team does. So most of the time, you're going to be spinning. is in transition. So the more ball handling you have, where you can just bust out, try to get uh, open lays, easy, quick baskets, the more likely you have a better team. What's it been like, you know, playing with this team from the start and the VR to now? Uh, more, we're, we're definitely closer than we were. You know, we did, we were pretty close then too, but um, the, we've got more focus together, uh, more discipline, and we're starting to understand, we're starting to tie it all in. What do you want to see collectively from the team on Sunday, even if it is an exhibition? Uh, we do a pretty good job uh, at, at displaying effort, but um, uh, just showing growth on different uh, areas where we were lacking or we weren't uh, meeting expectations. What's going to define this season in your mind? Like, what's going to be the defining thing about this team this season? Mm. Uh, just winning. Uh, I, I, I think we uh, have a good chance to make it far, but take it uh, game by game. Um, because they give us all the right uh, tools to teach us the right things just on us to carry it over. Caleb, yeah, you've been through this process like the offseason, preseason several times, Houston, Florida State, whatever. Um, has this offseason been any different? Does it feel different than other places you've been at, other processes you've gone through? Um, it's, it's a lot similar to what uh, I would do at um, Houston. We work real hard, um, always at the gym, uh, uh, pushing ourselves in the weight room. Um, that's, that's basically what I've been doing since I got here. Was it important for you to get back to a program that was more like a Houston mold or whatever? Was that something that you considered? In the uh, I mean, uh, just just want to be pushed more. Uh, I feel like I, I was in a, a fit that didn't benefit my play style where I was prior. But um, being here definitely was the right choice. Um, playing for a great coach and uh, being surrounded by a, a group of great guys. Yeah, and you said earlier on that you're really trying to establish yourself as the guy in terms of like leadership on the team and whatnot. Is that important to you? And what are the type of things that you know, you've know you been doing or what you have to do to try to you know, continue to establish yourself in that type of role? Um, well, it starts with uh, um, always being a guy that uh, is in the gym first, leaves the gym uh, last, uh, not missing any reps, going hard all the time, and uh, knowing what to do, uh, especially defensively, because a 
a lot of the young guys may get uh, spun around. A lot of the stuff is meant for the defense to, to move around and play catch up with the basketball. So being able to be proactively talking is the biggest, uh, the biggest help I could provide. What'd you say? Um, the Houston team I was on that went to the Final Four was similar to this team. Um, we have post presence, we have stretch five, stretch fours, guard play, athletes, shooters, we have everything. Uh, it's just uh, going to depend on whether, on how much we buy in, how seriously we take it, how focused we are, how disciplined we are. There was a lot of talk about that you guys are running well on the court, but there's also talk that you guys really, really running off the court. How has that chemistry off the court, you know, contributed to being on the court? And also, they said you're one of the three funded guys on the team. Is that true? Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely true. Um, but uh, off the court, uh, I think the reason that uh, uh, we're we're able to to be so close on the court and close um, on the outside looking in is just good times, uh, joking and laughing. But uh, being close on a team, a basketball team, is whenever you can hold someone accountable and they can put their feelings aside and, and can listen to what you say instead of how you said it. Um, and, that, and that comes from being off the court, being real with the next guy, whether uh, if they're doing something they shouldn't be or if it's not the right thing, then you hold them accountable tell them the truth regardless if they like it or not. I mean, I, I don't, I don't care. I, I mean, I, being younger, I used to be caught up in that stuff. Uh, but uh, I mean, I, you try to take it personal, but I know what we do every day, and my expectations for us are high. Um, and anything that, uh, like, if we underachieve, which is in my eyes, it's going to be hard to do, especially with the way the coach is pushing us and how the guys are bought in.